Yo, here's a quick clip on some women dropping facts on how to make a long-term marriage work. And this guy hit on me, right? So he said, hey, you married? And I was like, yes. And he said, you happy? And I was like, no, and? <laughs> and the reason why I said no was because one, I'm brutally honest, and two, I was not happy at the time. But what does me being unhappy have to do with whether or not you have a shot? Here's the thing I realized. A lot of married people don't know how to be unhappily married and still not walk away. If you could learn how to be unhappy for a minute, your marriage will last. Because the goal in marriage is not happiness. The goal is to build a lasting relationship that withstands um, the, uh, the ebbs and flows of marriage. May that woman is absolutely based. Yeah, she, she, knows, she knows the reality. She knows how to make it work. She knows the way uh, a marriage is meant to work. All right, this woman is protecting at all costs and whoever she's with is a very, very lucky guy. In today's world, there's not many, there's not many women, there's not many people with this mentality. And this is the thing, yeah? This is the thing. So many of you guys out there, so many, so many people out there are in a delusion. You're, you, the, there's so many people, especially women, men as well, definitely plenty of, of, of men, but especially women in today's world, are growing up with this belief that you should always be happy in a long-term relationship. And once you're not happy, well, it's not working. It means like it, it just doesn't work. Like we're not meant to be, and you move on. Next, next person. And as we know with social media, it definitely makes it easier to find someone else. Again, more so for women, I know that. But there's a hell of a lot more options out there, right? And the thing is, that is just not the reality. It's not the way it works. If you're gonna be in a long-term relationship, if you're gonna get married and you're gonna say till death to us part, right, to the end, you're not gonna be happy all the time. That's the reality of the situation. You're actually gonna have times, not when you're just not happy, you're gonna have times where you're gonna doubt the relationship. I'll admit this to you now. I've been married to my, my wife eight years. We've been together nearly 12. There's been times where I haven't been happy. I don't have to count on two hands the amount of times. Same with my wife. I know this because we've spoken about it. And there's been times where I thought, I, I, I don't know, are we gonna make this? But you know what I did? I continued. I kept trying, we worked on it, we improved things and we realized no. We do want to be together. We do love each other. You do make me happy. There's so many people out there today are just like, well, I'm not as happy. I'm not as happy as I used to be. You know, it's clearly not working. After a month, like two months. You know, sometimes some people, now I'm not advocating this is how long it should go on for, but some people are unhappy for like a year, two years, maybe even a bit more, and then they figure it out. I know that happened with my, my grandparents. My grandparents got married. They met, they got married after three months of meeting each other. They were together for over 60 years. And they both said, yeah, we had a, we had a few years where we weren't happy. But they came from a generation where it was like, you, you figure it out and you make it work. And they did. And they were so happy together, loved each other so much. We were raised in this culture, this Western culture, to believe that you should always be happy in a relationship and it's nonsense and it doesn't happen. And in a relationship, you have to go in with that understanding. You're going to have peaks and you're going to have troughs and you've got to figure it out. You've got to put in the effort. Now, I'm not saying you should be with someone and be in a perpetual state of unhappiness. Of course not. If you're, if you're unhappy for years and you've tried everything, and clearly it's not working, clearly you're not compatible, clearly it's better to move on, obviously, do that. I'm not saying be miserable forever. I'm just saying, most people don't work it out. Most people don't want to put in the time and effort to turn that ship around. I just think because it's got to that point, of having this stage of unhappiness is destined for failure. And in a lot of cases, it's just not true. But society's brainwashed you to believe that way. The other thing society's brainwashed people into is the the romance phase right and again especially women now i'm, I'm gonna I, I put more of the blame on women here because at the end of the day you look at the stats 50 percent of marriages end in divorce 
80% of those are initiated by women. Now, of course, if you're like, if you're legitimately unhappy and you've done everything, or, you, or the husband's abusive or whatever it is, get the hell out of there. But people aren't sticking it, going, sticking it out enough. They aren't, they aren't being tough enough. They aren't being realistic. And this romance phase, people are obsessed with being in love, falling in love, right? You know, I'm sure you know it. I remember it well, when you meet someone, all you can think about is them. All you want to do is spend your time with them, right? You just, you have a great time. Everything's happy. You're having sex all the time. It's amazing, right? Falling in love, being in that romance phase is a great time. But it fades. It will inevitably fade. But for some reason, that, that programming, people are just obsessed with that phase. And once it fades, they get bored. They think, well, we're out of the romance phase. That means it's not working. That means we're not compatible. I'm going to go find someone else. You see this all the time. And it's just delusional. It's childish delusion. It's delusion to think you're always going to be happy. It's delusion to think you're always going to be in this perpetual state of bliss, right? Of romantic bliss and happiness. It's, it's it, honestly, it is childish. It's been, you've been raised on Hollywood's notion of, of romance, right? Disney's notion of romance. Come on. Some of these people have to grow up. And the other part of it is when people are in relationships and you see it all the time and they're in that phase of unhappiness and like this woman alluded to, instead of sticking it out, working on it, or instead of maybe if they've worked on it long enough, getting rid of the person, no, they, they decide to cheat. They decide to cheat, start an affair, sleep with someone, and they justify it by, yeah, but I wasn't happy. You weren't making me happy anymore. As if that's some legitimate justification for cheating on someone. So some people out there, they really need to get out of this, this infantile delusion about what a long-term relationship is. And if you're in for marriage, you're in for some ups and downs. You're gonna go through some rough waters. But you should try and tough it out. You should try and figure it out. Sit down, talk to each other, figure out what's going on, why you're unhappy, how to make it, how to make it work, how to make it better. Understand yourself, understand the opposite sex, understand how good relationships work and communication and so forth. And if you give it what you think is everything and you give it time and it's not working out, okay, then you're not, then you're not, clearly it's not gonna work. Then it's better to go your separate ways, absolutely. But people go, people don't go in with that mindset. They go in with this ridiculous Disney mindset of it should always be perfect. Should always be happy. Should always be in love, be obsessed with this person. It's not gonna happen, guys. You gotta grow up. You gotta get into the real world. You gotta act like an adult. And this is what that woman's alluding to. What do you think, guys? Let me know in the comments. I'll reply to all of you. Join me for the next video.